the most unique thing about John is that a man of such uh, great accomplishments is so humble. It's caring for the signs, caring for the patients, caring about not just discovering drugs, but to deliver them to as many people as needed. John is incredibly enthusiastic. I've always found his uh, enthusiasm to be infectious and it helps other people uh, to become enthusiastic about what they're doing too. I would say smart. He's, he's incredibly insightful about the industry, you know, not only about research and development and the science, but also about uh, commercial issues, regulatory issues, um, uh, financial issues, so he is just incredibly smart. He's very generous with his time, his people. John, John is first and foremost a scientist, and therefore he has um, you know, science as the underpinning of his decision making. He looks at you know, what's the information, what is the facts. He looks at it unemotionally, and he makes uh, decisions based on that that are sometimes difficult, and sometimes people disagree with it. But he is steadfast. He believes in it, he has conviction, and he just, you know, goes after it. I think he reached down deep into the organization to connect science with the value to the patient. He has a fantastic understanding of, of the depths of science. And I think ultimately it informs all, all of the things that he does. When I and John joined Gilead, Gilead was focused on something completely different. It was uh, oligonucleotides, antisense, and triple helix. That turns out uh, we could never really get to work. His interaction with uh, Gilead's teams to be able to understand uh, the molecule, the, uh, the patient needs, the clinical study design. So all of that, he, he took it in and uh, uh, helped us clear the, the vision. So we really had not much as a company. And then when John came, he redirected the company to do something, something that actually worked scientifically, and we got into small molecule antivirals. John's influence in biotech has been enormous. Uh, he came to Gilead when there were only 40 people here and, and built the organization uh, to what it is now only probably about 9,000 people. Yeah, and his ability to forming a company with, which tackled many viruses and many diseases. Gilead had a number of achievements in life science industry. I'm often asked, what is the biggest one? Uh, people, if you ask right now, will remember the work we did over the last few years of hepatitis C. We have so many things to be proud of at Gilead. But I would go back to what we've accomplished in HIV that's allowed so many people, millions of people, to live longer, healthier lives. It's his contribution to, to the society you know, at highest level is to um, bring medicine, to cure, and to treat for the vast amount of patients. He has been a part, he's been at the forefront of completely transforming a disease. And, and that's true in this city, it's true in this country, it's true around the world. That's an incredible legacy. John's influence is multifaceted right? on science and on innovation, on patients, and also in building the business. As the driver of the single pill uh, once a day for HIV, uh, I think John's influence was enormous. When it became clear many years ago that, that HIV was an epidemic in Sub-Saharan Africa, in the developing world, um, John stepped forward and said, we will find a way to get our medications to people living in those countries. He made it happen. It was never a question of if we're going to do that. It was a question of, of how and when. Uh, John had a, an, just an incredible impact on the industry and, and on, most importantly on patients' life. If you look at what we have done here at Gilead, uh, HIV went from a complete death sentence to a long-term chronic treatable disease. Nowadays the life expectancy of an HIV-infected person is similar to non-HIV-infected people. 
And we have now 10 million people on our Gilead HIV drugs, and that's, I would say, entirely due to John's commitment to the developing world. 10 million uh, of people living with HIV and AIDS, out of the total of 19 million, are using antiretroviral drug from Gilead. So thanks to John Martin making this drug accessible in developing countries like my country, it's a great achievement. I think John will be remembered mostly uh, because of his, his science and his um, collaborations. I think he's been significantly impactful by building relationships across the scientific community. I think he will be remembered for his impact on delivering the, the, the most safe drugs to millions of people in the rest of the world. John's legacy will be Gilead.